Hi, I'm Tamara Lackey, and on this episode of Redefine Show for Adorama TV, I continue my discussion with internationally acclaimed photojournalist Joe McNally. We talk about why putting structure and focus around his marketing really paid off for him, and why you, yes you, should never ever wait for a job. Check it out. It's funny because you are obviously extremely well known as a photographer, um, but you clearly are a, a very strong writer and communicator. Um, have you, has writing been part of your career? I went to school to be a writer. Ah, I that's it. I originally wanted to be a journalist and possibly in the initial go, I was thinking maybe I could be a sports writer because I loved sports when I was a kid. I didn't, I wasn't a good player or anything, you know, I wasn't pro material, you know, I always just enjoyed sports. And so I thought, well, that's a way I could stay in touch with that world. But then I started studying camera work and I immediately made a right hand turn. So the idea now of the digital age, communicating via social media and blogs, right. is kind of fun for me. It's because brilliant it's for you. re-tapped re into mm -hmm. the idea of actually sitting down and writing something. Yeah. Which if I can actually screw myself into a seat and be disciplined about it, I do finally enjoy. Yeah. You know, but you know. And I and I and I've seen that, like in your blog posts, they're just very well written and like they're you, you showcase your imagination, you talk about it, and then you usually tend to um, tie your images into something that's a little bit of a, a deeper thought than I think most people are expecting when they're looking at a photography blog, you know? Yeah. Which I think is very interesting. It's kind of fun to do. It, it keeps you sharp, actually, and it also keeps you a little bit on point because once you start a blog, you have to stay with it. Right. You have to expect your readers to stay with you. So it's a regular, it's like a metronome. I, I do a blog a week, sometimes a little more. Sometimes every once in a while we'll pop out too, but a blog a week. And it's a discipline that you get yourself into. Sometimes you feel like looking at the computer like you're going to the dentist. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop staring. What am I going to write about? I can't think of anything. Oh my God. Help! And then Annie comes in, baby. You know, calm it down. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> like, she's like, yeah, I, I hear you. I'm very sympathetic, but write the blog. <laughs> Just okay, get it down. Get over it. And you have a huge social media following too. Well, you know, to the degree we communicate, I mean, again, that's uh, Annie is our director of social media marketing, and I kind of was very slipshod about it, like, oh, I'll do an Instagram today. Oh, I'll do it. Look at that. That's a fall landscape. Oh, look at that. That's a portrait. And she's like, <laughs> focus. Let's do series. Let's actually put things out there that have a certain measure of coherence. And it's a really smart thing to do yeah. because people have responded to that. Yeah. We do stories on Instagram and I find that's actually really cool to do because I grew up in my career waiting for Time Magazine to call. Interesting. Right? Newsweek to call. Right. Uh, you know, and they called and that was great. But guess what? Newsweek ain't around anymore. Yeah, Life yeah. is gone. Yeah. Right? yeah. As a photographer, you have to be very proactive now about the creation of your own future. Yeah. And so I find that these are just tools that we can use to put things out there that otherwise, if we were waiting on that job, right. nobody's going to see it anyway. Yeah. I mean, do you, and when was the last time you read Time Magazine? Exactly. You know? Yep. But when was the last time you were online searching through websites? About and... 20 minutes ago. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah. it's a different world. Thank you so much for taking the time to have this extremely serious interview. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I really appreciate you being less than serious yes. and being the wonderful person that you are. <laughs> and we're able to laugh together a lot, which is one of the beauties and benefits of being a photographer. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. Yes. And if you're not having fun with this job, why are you putting so much work and effort into it? Oh, my God. It would be so tiresome. You know, Agreed. if you didn't really love this and enjoy the fun things that it just drops unexpectedly on your plate. Thank you so much, Joe. Really appreciate your time and extraordinary advice. Check us out here next time, everybody, on Adorama TV. And don't forget, there's like a subscribe button that you can click that subscribes you to Adorama TV.